Hello friends, today we discuss about how to find moment of inertia for an unequal angle section. So first question is what is moment of inertia? Moment of inertia means second moment of area. So first we consider lamina of area A and taking moment from the xx axis. So moment is equal to area multiplied perpendicular distance. So moment is equal to area perpendicular distance is y. So moment is equal to a into y. If the moment of the moment is taken about the same reference axis means second moment of area. It is known as a moment of inertia. So moment of inertia is equal to moment multiplied perpendicular distance. We already find moment that that is a into y multiply perpendicular distance that is y. So ixx is equal to a y square. Similarly, iyy moment of inertia about yy axis. So this is y axis. So if we taking perpendicular distance that is x horizontal distance that's why x. So moment of inertia from yy axis first moment that is a into x and second moment means a into x into x. So i by y is equal to ax square. Again I repeat moment of inertia means second moment of area. So moment means area multiplied perpendicular distance. So here area a perpendicular distance is y. So moment is equal to a into y. If the moment of moment is taken about same reference axis means second moment of area it is known as moment of inertia so moment of inertia is equal to moment multiply perpendicular distance we already find moment that is a into y multiply perpendicular distance that is y so ixx is equal to a y square moment of inertia about xx axis is equal to a y square similarly moment of inertia from y y axis that is i y y is equal to a x square so here uh, take one example of rectangle. The rectangle moment of inertia about xx axis that is ixx is equal to bd cube by 12. So whenever we consider whole section means combination of parts then use equation ixx is equal to ig plus a h square. If you taking moment of inertia of first part then ixx1 is equal to ig plus a h square. So while you taking moment about xx axis then h is equal to always y bar minus y1. If you taking first part then y bar minus y1 and if you consider second part then h is equal to y bar minus y2 because moment of inertia about xx axis a y square. So h is equal to y bar minus y1 or if you consider second part then y bar minus y2. Similarly if you find moment of inertia about y y axis so i y y is equal to a square so equation is i y y1 is equal to i g plus a h square instead of h we can write h is equal to x bar minus x1 and if you consider second part then h is equal to x bar minus h2. Instead of i g we use equation for rectangle that is b d cube by 12. And for i y y axis db cube by 12. Now we solve example. So in the numerical data is given find moment of inertia for an unequal angle section. The dimension is given 125 mm, 75 mm and 10 mm thickness is given. So for finding moment of inertia first find center of gravity. So for finding center of gravity just follow some simple steps. In step number one, locate reference axis. So what is the meaning of reference axis? The reference axis means the axis from which we indicate x bar and y bar. So here we find center of gravity means basically we find x bar and y bar. So the axis from which we indicate x bar and y bar it's called reference axis. Generally reference axis we indicate at the left side of the section and bottom of the section. So these are the reference axis. So here in step number two check the given section is symmetrical about any axis or not. So what do you mean by symmetrical axis? Symmetrical axis means the axis which divides the figure into two equal parts. It's called symmetrical axis. Here we draw x axis anywhere. It's not divide the figure into two equal parts. And similarly for y axis, it's not divide the figure into two equal parts. So here the section is not symmetrical about any axis. So we find x bar and y bar both.
in step number three divide section into parts so here you see the figure so there are two rectangles here there is first rectangle and that is second rectangle so first we mark rectangle number one and rectangle number two so in step number three divide section into parts so divide section in here two parts first rectangle and second rectangle so first rectangle dimension is here total height that is 125 mm and that thickness is 10 mm so first rectangle dimension is given by 125 mm minus 10 mm so 115 mm and thickness is 10 mm so first we draw first rectangle that's dimension is 115 mm and 10 mm second rectangle dimension that is 75 mm and 10 mm so we draw another rectangle that's dimension is 75 mm and 10 mm so in step number four find area x1 and y1 and x2 and y2 so in step number four we first find area so first rectangle area that is given by l into b so here first rectangle area that is given by equation 115 mm multiply 10 so 115 multiply 10 so area is 1150 mm square similarly for second part area that's uh, dimension is given 75 mm multiply 10 mm so l into b so 75 mm multiply 10 mm so second part area that is given 750 mm square similarly we find x1 y1 and x2 y2 so here whenever you find x then always see horizontal distance whenever you find x then always see horizontal distance and whenever you find y then always see vertical distance from the reference axis so here find so here first find x1 so we know that rectangle center of gravity at its middle point so you see always horizontal distance whenever you find x so here total distance is 10 so center of gravity is around 5 mm but we measure this distance from the reference axis so see the figure here reference axis so this dimension is 10 mm so center of gravity of rectangle at its middle point so horizontal distance from the reference axis that is 5 mm so x1 we directly get 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 mm similarly we find x2 so here from this reference axis total distance is 75 mm so rectangle center of gravity at its middle point so 75 divided by 2 but here we find this distance from the reference axis so from the reference axis this parts also connect with reference axis so directly we get center of gravity that is 75 divided by 2 so x2 is equal to 75 divided by 2 next we find y1 and y2 so for finding y1 and y2 if you find y then always see vertical distance so first part total vertical distance 115 mm so from the bottom vertical distance is 115 divided by 2 because center of gravity at its middle so 115 divided by 2 but we find this distance from the reference axis so here are reference axis so from here the two vertical distance that is 115 divided by 2 but from the reference axis we add plus 10 so plus 10 plus 115 divided by 2 so y1 is equal to 10 plus 115 divided by 2 so this solution is 67.5 mm similarly for y2 for finding y you always see vertical distance so for vertical distance here 10 mm so here center of gravity at its middle point so 10 divided by 2 that is 5 mm 
and here this part is directly connected with the reference axis so directly you can write 10 divided by 2 so that's why 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 mm so y2 is equal to 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 mm now put this value in center of gravity equation so so x bar equation that we know that a1 x1 plus a2 x2 divided by a1 plus a2 put the value of a1 a2 and x1 and x2 so we get x bar is equal to 17.82 mm similarly put the value of a1 a2 y1 and y2 in the equation y bar is equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 divided by a1 plus a2 so put the value and solve the equation we get y bar is equal to 42.82 mm that, me that means uh, center of gravity from the reference axis x bar is equal to 17.82 mm and y bar is equal to 42.82 mm now we find moment of inertia so we know that moment of inertia means second moment of area so ixx is equal to ay square iyy is equal to ax square so when you consider whole section or it's a combination of parts then equation is ixx1 is equal to ig plus a square here rectangle so in place of ig we can write bd cube by 12 whenever you find moment of inertia about xx axis then h is equal to y bar minus if you consider first part then y bar minus y1 if you consider second part then y bar minus y2 and if you find moment of inertia about y y axis then h is equal to x bar minus x1 for first part and similarly for finding moment of inertia for second part means i y y2 is equal to h is equal to x bar minus x2 and instead of ig we write rectangle equation that means if we find xx then bd cube by 12 and if you find moment of inertia about yy axis then db cube by 12 so this process is applied so here ixx1 is equal to ig plus a square so h is equal to y bar minus y1 so first part dimension that is we know that 10, uh, 10 mm 115 mm and y bar we get 42.82 mm and y1 we get 67.5 mm so put the value so ixx1 for rectangle moment of inertia is bd cube by 12 plus we finding moment of inertia for first part so a1 y bar minus y1 whole square so here b is equal to 10 mm and d is equal to 115 mm b means b and d means depth so put the value of BD, B and D. So 10 multiply 115 cube divided by 12. First part area that is 1150. Y bar we get 42.82 and Y1 we get 67.5. So 42.82 minus 67.5 whole square. Simplify this equation. We get IXX1 is equal to 1.96 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4. Similarly, we find moment of inertia about xx axis for second part. So ixx2 is equal to ig plus a2 h square. Here for second part that means h is equal to y bar minus y2. So second part dimension that is 75 mm and 10 mm. Here we get y bar is equal to 42.82 mm and y2 we get 5 mm. So ixx2 equation is here rectangle that's why bd cube by 12 plus a2 y bar minus y2 whole square here base means b b is equal to 75 mm and depth is given 10 mm so put the value of b d area a2 and y bar and y2 and solve this equation we get ixx2 is equal to 1.079 multiply 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 now ixx is equal to ixx1 plus ixx2 so moment of inertia about xx axis is equal to 3.04 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 just remember this equation ig plus a, a square if you finding moment of inertia about xx axis then h is equal to y bar minus y1 if you consider first part then y1 if you consider second part then h is equal to y bar minus y2 similarly if you find moment of inertia about y y axis then equation remains same ig is equal to a h square but here from the y y axis so h is equal to x bar minus x1 because in moment of inertia equation we already seen that when you taking moment about xx axis then vertical distance is 
y and if you taking moment of inertia about y y axis then perpendicular distance is x so while you find moment of inertia about y y axis then h is equal to x bar minus x1 if you consider first part so i y y 1 is equal to moment of inertia for the rectangle about y y axis that we know that db cube by 12 plus a1 x bar minus x1 whole square so here b is equal to 10 mm and d is equal to 115 mm so put the value of d and b a1 x bar and x1 here we get x bar is equal to 17.82 mm and x1 we get 5 mm so put this value we get i by y1 is equal to 1.98 into 10 raised to 5 mm raised to 4 similarly we find moment of inertia for second part so i by y2 is equal to ig plus a2 h square second part dimension is 75 mm and 10 mm so b is equal to 75 mm and depth means 10 mm put the value of d and b x bar we get 17.82 and x2 we get 37.5 mm so put the value of d b x bar and x2 so i y y2 we get 6.42 into 10 raised to 5 mm raised to 4 so moment of inertia about y y axis i y y is equal to i y y 1 plus i y y 2 so i y y is equal to 8.4 into 10 raised to 5 mm raised to 4 in this way you easily find moment of inertia